All right, y'all, we got to talk. So after that badass epic trailer that we got for Godzilla vs. King Kong, I had to go back and watch the rest of the MonsterVerse movies. Now, I'll be honest with you, I never watched Godzilla 2014 in its entirety. I never watched King of the Monsters in its entirety. You want to know why? Because there are too many damn humans. I don't care about the human stories. I come for a monster movie. So I will start these movies and never finish them because I got bored, all right? But because I was into this trailer so much, I can't wait to see this movie. I need somewhat of a fix before we get to this, this movie. Now, uh, before y'all say I clickbaited y'all, okay? This is not a review for, well, it's, not, it's sort of a review for all of them, but before y'all get y'all pants in a bunch, see, this is a clickbait, motherfucker. You said that you knew something about Godzilla. What is it that you know that we don't know? Nothing, okay? Now, this news to me, but probably old to y'all. I'm not a Godzilla uh, enthusiast, okay? I watch the movies, I enjoy them for what they are, but I never really follow Godzilla like that. And like a lot of y'all, I watched this trailer, and I said, yo, Kong got this shit. I I'm Team Kong all day. Even after what I seen in King of the Monsters that's uh, motivated me to do this video, um, I'm Team Kong all day. You know what I'm saying? That that's not going anywhere. But that shit changed my perspective like a motherfucker. Yo, so Godzilla, I did not know can go nuclear thermal. I think that's what it's called. Thermonuclear, nuclear thermal. I probably got it wrong. But what I seen in King of the Monsters now, spoilers by the way, um, I'm like, shit, Kong might be in trouble. Now, if, I mean, I know this video's out there breaking this shit down, like who's going to win and all that stuff. So I guess this is kind of my own little breakdown, my own little, my own little um, opinion, okay? Not saying that my shit's going to be better or more detailed than everybody else's. This is just what I've seen from watching the movies. Kong, I think, is going to be in fucking trouble. I'm Team Kong, but that motherfucker in trouble. Alright, because what we know about Kong is that he's not bulletproof. Bullets can't hurt him. There's four movies that were made that prove that bullets can hurt Kong and kill him. Bullets cannot hurt Godzilla. I think they fire bullets and missiles and shit. Nothing can hurt this motherfucker. I think his skin is like Luke Cage. It's almost in impenetrable. <laughs> That's a word. <laughs> and also, he breathes fire. And we know he breathes fire. And in the trailer, they showed him breathing the fire. And you see Kong deflecting that shit and, and hitting him. With that axe or whatever it looked like, it's like Stormbreaker, alright? But, fire is not all that he has. When I seen King of the Monsters, by the way, dope-ass movie. Well, at least the, the third act of it was. The rest of the movie was really smoky, alright? Quick review on Godzilla King of the Monsters. The movie was blue. It was very blue and orange. Reminded me of the Knicks. And it was very smoky, very foggy. Even during the, the monster fights, which were cool as shit. But I don't know if they did this to cover the CGI or what, but you really didn't get a good look at what the action was going on. But still, that's just a critic in me. I enjoy King of the Monsters. I, it's definitely better than 2014's Godzilla, in my opinion. But from what I saw in that, the way you handled your boy, the three-headed monster, what's his name? Uh, I almost called him Gamora. Was it uh, Jidora or some shit like that? This motherfucker went thermonuclear. All right, his whole body radiated. He had the glow. All right, Godzilla's full of radiation. He could have leveled a whole planet. He leveled that motherfucker like he was nothing. What the hell you think Kong is going to do when he does that to him? If they go that route, there's no way Kong has fur. All right, if you light his fur, he will, he will be on fire. Now, on a fighting, okay, fighting-wise, Kong got his number, okay? Fighting-wise, Kong has the speed, the elusiveness, you know what I'm saying, the savagery. Kong is a fighter. He's a savage. He's been fighting his whole life, you know what I'm saying? And Godzilla's a fighter too, but Kong is like a fighter. Like Kong is is UFC, and Godzilla's almost like like street fighter. You know what I'm saying? He he's a, he's a street fighter, but Kong has that UFC experience. You know what I'm saying? So on the fighting level, I think Kong got his number. But what I think is gonna happen is everybody has an opinion, so here's mine. I think that Kong is gonna get his licks in. It's gonna appear as if he's going to defeat the King of the Monsters. All right. They don't call him the king for nothing. And I caught that shade, by the way, in the end credits of King of the Monsters when he said, well, what's a king to a god? Whoo, shade like a motherfucker. But yeah, y'all, um, what was I going? Uh, yeah, Kong is going to get his licks in. It's going to appear as if Kong wins. Matter of fact, he might win. There's going to be two fights in this movie. I feel the first fight, um, Kong is probably going to win. And then the second fight, 
Kong is going to appear to a win again, and then Godzilla going to hit him with that fucking thermonuclear shit. I think. I don't know. This is a tough one because these are both real popular characters, so I really can't see them killing off one or the other. You know what I'm saying? Because Kong is is a um, uh, a popular property of, I believe, Warner Brothers now, and then Godzilla, he's a property of, uh, I think he's Warner Brothers also, right? Well, they're, they're both really popular properties, and if you kill one or the other, it's going to take away that, that, that oomph that they need for people to come see their movies. Because if Godzilla get killed, who's going to want to see another Godzilla movie? You can't make one. The motherfucker dead. All right, you kill Kong, who's going to want to see another Kong movie? That's actually a bad analogy because Kong has died in every movie except for Skull Island, which is why Skull Island is my favorite one. <laughs> I don't give a damn, yo. Listen, um, some people say that 2005's King Kong was the best, and it's probably the best made movie. You know, it's probably the best film overall, but to me personally, I like Kong Skull Island because that nigga did not die, all right? Every movie he's in, they killed him. You know, I hate that shit. He survived in this one. He survived, he kicked ass. But if, if you kill Kong again, they, they can resurrect him. But you can't kill Godzilla. I've never seen Godzilla die in a movie. Except for that 98 version with Matthew Broderick, which does not count. It does not count. All right, if, if this is on paper, Godzilla should win. Not easily because, like I said, Kong is a better fighter. So Kong's going to get his licks in. Like, they showed it in the trailer. They showed him throwing that fucking punch. And, like, knocking him backwards and shit. You know what I'm saying? Kong is going to get his licks and he's going to beat him up, like, black and blue. Apollo Creed, Rocky Balboa style. All right? But when it comes down to that final blow, my man, Godzilla, is going to go Super Saiyan and burn Kong to a crisp. It's going to smell like, it's going to smell like burnt hair, okay? It's going to smell like, like, burnt hair wrapped in a dirty diaper, with Indian food in it. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think I said that wrong. I, I'm trying to copy Anchorman. Um, yeah, y'all. This is coming from somebody who's Team Kong. Please put in the comments what you think about this shit. All right. I, I may get blasted and cursed out. But listen, I am a King Kong fan. I am rooting for Kong to win. But after what I seen in King of the Monsters, I said there's no way that Kong should win that fight. So quick, uh, not recap, but quick review on all three movies, because I was going to do a separate video for each movie, but I feel like I wouldn't have did a review justice because I would have came back and talked about what I'm talking about right now. So real quick, Godzilla 2014, uh, C- on that one, because you barely saw Godzilla in the movie, all right? And when he does show up, you see him getting ready to fight, and then it'll cut to something, either a door will close, or it'll be a news broadcast and it cut to something else. So you really don't see Godzilla get down to the end of the movie. And then when he does get down, it's so dark and foggy, you really can't make out what's going on, but it's still dope. You know, when he, when he breathed fire into that motherfucker's mouth and melted him, that shit was dope right there. Like, that that that's probably should have given it an A by itself, but the movie as a whole, I give it a C-. minus. Kong Skull Island gets an easy A. One of the most fun times you'll have at the movies. There's nothing, no gripes I can really say about it, you know. They, to me, the human characters didn't annoy me in this one. Actually, I liked them, especially Samuel Jackson. I liked that he had a feud with Kong. So the human characters didn't annoy me like the Godzilla movies because when you watch the Godzilla movies, it's like, okay, I don't care about the humans. Get to, get to Godzilla, you know what I'm saying? So Kong Skull Island gets an easy A. And then we got King of the Monsters, which I'm kind of conflicted about because I really did enjoy the movie. But once again, they didn't learn their lesson. I don't care about the humans. Even when the monsters are fighting... You know what I'm saying? They still got to go like, I don't care about them. Let these niggas fight. You know what I'm saying? It's like they'll get down, boom, 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 boom. And they'll see a POV shot of like O'Shea Jackson Jr. or Millie Bobby Brown like, oh my God, we have to do something. Don't do shit. Sit back like the rest of us. Eat your popcorn and shut the fuck up and let these monsters get down. Another thing I didn't like about King of the Monsters was that Mothra died. <laughs> Mothra's one of the most popular characters in Godzilla-verse, you know what I'm saying, the Monsterverse. And she died, unless she didn't die. I don't know. I saw her die. I saw her die. I saw her kill Rodan, which I think I saw Rodan again, so I guess he ain't dead. And I did love that scene where they all bowed down to Kong. I mean, when they bowed down to Godzilla, like, yeah, you the king. Long live the king. And Godzilla let out that big-ass roar. I'm like, ooh, I don't see Kong winning this. Because <laughs> Ghidorah, to me, if you put Kong against Ghidorah, I think I'm saying his name right, I think Ghidorah would dismantle Kong, you know what I'm saying, he's a three-headed monster that breathes fire also, you know what I'm saying, he beat Godzilla early in the movie, where Godzilla disappeared for a while, like Hulk in, in um, uh, Infinity War, and then you don't see him again so much later, 
And that's what I like about these movies also, the Godzilla movies, is that he takes a back seat in his own movies. It's called Godzilla, but you barely see that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But I can hear some of you, well, Rashad, that, that's the whole point of it. You know, if you watch the old movies, you really don't see him until, you know, I don't care, whatever. I'm paying to see Godzilla. I want to see Godzilla. All right. When you go to see Jurassic Park, you see dinosaurs. Whether the movie's not that good or not, you are going to see dinosaurs. You pay to see dinosaurs. I pay to see the king of the fucking monsters. Show me the king. All right. Show me the motherfucking king. So please comment freely below. Let me know about what you think about these movies. What you think about uh, uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. Who's going to win that shit? Let me know what's up. And teach me something. Listen, I'm not an expert on either of these motherfuckers. All I know about Kong is that he's a badass. He can fight, but bullets kill him. Fire burns him. He can die. What I know about Godzilla is he breathes fire. He can go super scion now and pretty much blow up the planet. He's the fucking king. Ugh. This is going to be like fucking... I, can't, I don't even know what fight to compare this to. You know what I'm saying? This is almost a mismatch. I'm sorry, but bottom line is I think Godzilla going to take this one. I don't see... A situation where Kong wins if Godzilla can go thermonuclear like that. Nuclear thermo, I'm probably saying that wrong. I just don't see how he can win. Now, I, just like everybody else, when I saw the trailer, I said, man, Kong got this in the bag. But in the trailer, they show Kong getting his licks, but you never see Godzilla get his licks. So like everybody else, I was like, man, Kong got this shit. But I've never seen King of the Monsters in its entirety. Now that I've seen it, my mind has changed. I said, holy shit, Kong is in fucking trouble. <laughs> And that's all I got to say about that. So, y'all, that's all I got. If you like and dig this content, hit that like and subscribe notification bell in the corner. Thank you all for watching. This is Rashad G signing out. See you in the next video.